In scenario A, we are looking at decimal points and rising in a sequence from 0.2 all the way up to 0.8, where students then go to 0.10 and 0.12. Before looking at decimals, I think it's important for students to understand place value. And for this, I have made a sort of place value mat equivalent, where you explain that we start with the values from one to nine. These are called ones. Once we get to nine, we don't, when we continue on to 10, that then classifies as tens. Tens go from 10 all the way to 99. These then move on to a hundredths, which go from 100 to 999. Once you get to 999, you move on to thousands, which go all the way up to 9,999. This then moves on to tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands. A nice way for students to look at it, if they're getting a little bit confused at first, is the number of um, numbers at equivalent of the columns. So ones, you've only got one number, one or two or three or four. Tens, there's only two numbers. Hundreds, there's three and thousands, there's four. Similarly, tens of thousands, there's five. Hundreds of thousands, there'll be six. So first things first, students need to understand this idea of place value. Then you can move on to decimal points. Now, decimals are easy to think of as one whole divided into several different parts. So one whole divided into 10 different parts are tenths. Similarly, one whole divided into 100 different parts are hundredths. So first things first, you want to write down your decimal point. Nice and centre in the middle. Now, to the left of the decimal point, we've got our ones and our tens. Similarly, like we just explained, the ones will go up to nine, and then once they get to nine, they then become tens. On the right-hand side of the decimal point, we have our tenths and our hundredths. These work in the same way, moving from right to left. The hundredths get up to nine, then they qualify to tenths. Once they're at the tenths, they then qualify past decimal point to the ones, where they qualify past to the tens, and so on and so forth. In this question, we are looking at a sequence which goes from 0.2 to adding 0.2 and keep going along. 0.2 add 0.2 is 0.4, add 0.2, 0.6, add 0.2, 0.8. Now, when we get to 0.8, this is when things get a little bit more difficult. 0.8 plus 0.2 looks like it will equal 0.10. Similarly, as 8 plus 2 equals 10. However, we need to remember that tenths go to ones once they reach past nine. So this value is actually 1.0. So after 1.0, the value would equal 1.2, not 1.12, as the students might have perceived when they did this correction. The main value here is about place value, and for students to understand this, they really need to have a grasp on that first. I think once you've done this problem, an alternative one you could do afterwards would be using 0.3 as the starter, going up by 0.3, so you have something that looks a bit like this. 0.3 and 0.36, nine. This also um, making sure students know their times tables. Once you get to 0.9, it wouldn't be 0.12, it would be 1.2, because 0.9 means we have to move into tenths. 